At John Jones, it's not only about the frame or the exhibition that's happening now, it's about the artwork and the, the lifespan of that artwork and ensuring that it's as long as possible. Whether you have you know, Damien Hirst or a family photograph that you want to preserve as long as possible, it's important to consider the environment that it's in and also the environment that it has been in which will affect how it degrades. We offer conservation services first and foremost, um, which is generally assessing artwork that comes in, providing a condition report and a quote, um, running through the different options with the owner and then carrying out the treatment. After the treatment's carried out, we provide a full report on what was done and give recommendations for the sort of framing environment and display environment that it should be in, ideally. We come into homes and we assess each artwork, the framing, the environment, the display, the lighting, so that we can really offer you advice based on the environment that it's in for storage and display, so we can help you to preserve your work to a museum standard. If you have an artwork which has been mounted badly in the past, it probably is quite acidic and it might need deacidification, for example. Or if it's been damaged by water, it might have water staining. And all of those things can cause it to deteriorate much more quickly than it otherwise would. Education is of key importance to John Jones and we provide workshops as well as talks about key areas that we're concerned about and we also conduct research and publish papers on particular areas of note. I think that it's important to consider when purchasing an artwork that the uh, financial investment does not end there. Uh, you have a duty of care to the artwork and you shouldn't frame it in a substandard frame or you know, stick it in a drawer and not think about it again. It's important that the artwork is maintained and cared for in the best possible way.